Hello everybody, my name is Stephen Falkingham and welcome to my video tutorial on basic mastering in Pro Tools with basic Pro Tools plugins. This is definitely not a replacement for professional mastering. When you go to a mastering engineer who has been doing it for about 30 years and only mastering, that's when you can say it's professionally mastered. This is just a quick video on how to bump up your loudness and some minor fixes here and there. Uh, and if you're on a very low budget, say for example zero dollars, which is the case sometimes for some people, this is definitely a good video to watch. Okay, the first thing you want to do is go to the channel strip and just under where it says insert, you want to click and go to multi-channel plugin. First off, we want to start with some EQ. So we'll go ahead and choose EQ37. Okay, first I'm going to go to the low mid frequency band, uh, narrow the search and turn the gain up to here and sweep through the frequencies to find really loud standing out frequencies. Oh damn. There's one. I want to take out some of that, but not all because that's the bass going nutso. Okay, so now I want to go to the mid frequency knob and bring that down because I can hear an annoying frequency there somewhere. The key is not to take too much out, just the really bad bits and bring them down a bit. Oh, yep. Uh, I think that's one right there. Yep. I want to take that one down as well. You can take out more, but for this exercise, I'll just do the two. Okay, now you want a low cut around 40 hertz. Uh, some people go 50, 60, and sometimes 70. Up to you really, but I'll go 40. Same thing with the high cut. Just bring it above 18K to give you a roof on the high frequencies. Okay, now there's a bit of an EQ correction in there. You won't be able to tell much difference, but it's there. Trust me. Time to move on to the BF76 Peak Limiter. Uh, what I tend to do is bring up the attack and release to a fast setting for a more smoother sounding track. Next I will bump up the input, not by much, just so the limiter is kicking in and it's doing its job reducing the peaks. And I'll also bump up the output for a bit more drive. All right, cool beans. Next, my all time favorite, the Maxim Limiter. Firstly, you wanna bring down the ceiling to a negative 0.3 dB, which will make sure, no matter how hard you drive it, over here in the master fader, the signal will not peak. That's a good thing. This is called mastering, yeah? Well, basic anyway. Okay, now with the threshold, you wanna bring that down slowly and listen very carefully to the mix. And make sure it doesn't clip, and make sure you're not pushing it too hard. All right, we'll have a listen. You could push it more, but I'm happy with keeping it around six-ish for the time being. And that's it, really. Let's have a listen and compare the new mastering technique with and without bypass activated. As you can see, the RMS level is around negative six to seven maybe, which isn't bad. But when I bypass, it's around negative 16 to 17. So there you have it. I bumped up the noise level and cleaned up some muddy lows and there's your basic tutorial on mastering. Thanks for watching and happy mixing.